Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to record my go-to glam look. So this is the look that if I'm going in and night out, 90% of the time you will see me wearing this look. Um, it's just super bronzy, glowy, um, real neutral colours but warm colours that bring out my eyes, give me that nice um, blue eyed look. Um, and yeah, just really like glam. So I'm going to be going through the products that I'm using, how I like to use them, um, why I like them and doing the look on camera. So if you are interested in seeing that then just stay tuned. Alrighty so I just have my um, hair back and um, so I am going to go in first with a little bit of Fix Plus. I already have all of my skincare um, on that I normally do every day. If you're interested in seeing what exactly I use, um, I'll leave the link to my skincare IGTV um, in the description. Um, but I'm going in with my MAC Fix Plus. I'm just spritzing that all over. Oh, I love it. I, I I can't live without Fix Plus and I also cannot live without my strobe cream. This is the Peach Light strobe cream. Um, Peach Light is my favourite. It's the one that I will always go for. Um, it is just gorgeous for any skin tone. It gives a little bit of warmth but also gives like a little bit of that golden glow as well. Um, and I just love it. And I put that all over my face. Just to really give that a hell. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of um, the MAC Skin Base Primer. I normally only wear primer when I'm going on a night out, when I'm going like during the day. I don't really find that I need to wear it because I don't actually wear a whole lot of makeup. But when I'm going out, obviously I put on a bit more. So I like to put on that primer just to really keep it on there and my last little bit of skincare kind of prepping all that type of thing is just a little bit of lip balm and um, to have on my lips while I'm doing my makeup um, I always find that that will help them when you get to your um to putting on like your lipstick and things because your lips are already have had that little bit of a nice treatment on them for a little while I always have a lip balm with me well, 90% of the time I have lip balm with me, so I'm always having lip balm on my lips because they're always super, super dry, um, which is great. Um, but definitely when you're about to go for a night out and anything like that, um, like to plump up your lips, but also to hydrate them um, and to keep them looking nice when you're topping up your lipstick all night. Um, it's really, really important to have them super, super hydrated. So that is that. And um, this one is the Bali Body um, coconut lip balm and it has SPF in it which is good for days like today when it's super sunny outside um, but I have lots of different ones and um, anything that works for you will work perfect. So my skin is prepped and what I like to do when I'm doing my glam night out look is I like to go and do my eyes next. So I'm gonna let all of that skincare like dry in um, and sink into the skin and really work um, and I'm gonna go in and do my eyes. So this is the MAC Studio Fix Concealer. Um, it's the 24 hour smooth wear concealer. I absolutely love this concealer. It is literally the best. And I like to put that all over my eyes um, as a base. And now I'm going in with my MAC 240 brush. And I'm just buffing that onto the eyelid and always bring it out a little bit so that your foundation can come up to meet it so you don't end up kind of ruining your eyeshadow. I don't really care about my eyebrows because my eyebrows don't really have like that definitive shape. I actually meant to shape them before I came on here, but it's fine. Um, my eyebrows are always that little bit more wild than anything else, um, but that's just how I like them. Obviously, if you like that really curved out look, then I would recommend going in with a little flat brush and carry out your brows. Um, so if you want to do that, this concealer is also really, really good for that. Um, I love it as an eye base. It's not too thick that it's going to start like crumpling up or anything. Or not crumpling up, like crumbling or breaking up or anything like that. But it still works really well. Alrighty, so the first thing I'm going to go in with on my eyes 
um, is this Carter Beauty palette. Um, mine is a little bit dirty, but it is a bronzer palette. Um, but I love these eyeshadows. I think they're like the most perfect eyeshadow. And if I'm going anywhere, um, traveling or anything, that like I bring this because it's my bronzers and my eyeshadows in one. So I'm gonna go in with the Inglot 6SS brush, and I'm gonna go in with this bottom shade here, which is called Spark. Powder, but it's called Spark and I'm just going to start buffing that into the crease of my eye and I'm very lightly touching the skin with the brush and just buffing that in into the circle so that kind of is just a really bronzed look and just make sure you buff that right out at the edge Next, we're going in with my always favourite palette ever, um, the Kaylee palette. And I'm taking the shade Prophecy, which is this top right one here. And it's a slightly smaller brush. This one is just a brush that I got um, from Penny's years and years ago. And this I'm taking in the outer corner. And then up into the crease a little bit, but not as high as the first colour. We're really starting to just get that bit of definition on the eyes now. And then I always go back in with the first brush to buff out the colour. Gorge. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the Prophecy now and really just keeping this at the outer part just to deepen that up. What I love about this palette is the colours are like the shadows themselves, they're really really buildable. So you could literally use two shadows and have this amazingly blended smoked eye. Um, the colours are really easy to blend and they just work really really well. And just buffing with my first brush again. Not putting any like extra product on the first brush, just using that to just soften in the edges. So you get that really nice smoked look. And I'm gonna take a smaller kind of bullet brush and I'm gonna take the color Oath, which is just underneath Prophecy there. And this is like a really dark brown, almost like has a little bit of like a purpley undertone. Um, and I'm gonna just take that along the edge, almost like along the lash line. And then just up a teeny tiny bit. It's very much just staying in that outer corner. Just really darkening that up. So it's almost like that V shape that you see a lot of people. So, okay, about And back in again with the first brush and just softening that edge. So there's no super duper harsh lines or anything. And that is essentially the smokiness of the eye. Um, I that's what I like to do for my kind of go-to glam as I said. Okay so next just to give a little bit more glitz to my eye I'm gonna go in with the MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid in Rayon Rays. These are my favourite like I literally did not ever do a makeover when I was working in MAC without using one of these because they are the best. Um, so this is my own personal one so I go straight in on the eye and I just literally pop that on the inner kind of half of my eye and I have just a flat brush that I got in a set from like wish years upon years ago but it just works really well for patting on glitters and anything like that so I'm just patting that in and making sure it blends in with the darker colours 
I love it. It's so good. I haven't even worn that in so long. I haven't done my glam makeup in so so long, and because the only times I've done really really like my kind of makeup well not my kind of makeup because i think my kind of makeup now is a lot less but my kind of makeup that i would have done when i was working in mac and living in cork and going out a lot more and um, i would have always done this glam look and i haven't done it in so long and i'm like sweet for it um so that is the rayon rays it is stunning and the other dazzle shadow liquid that i would recommend everyone to get is beam time it's a little lighter it's like more of a rose gold whereas the rayon rays is more of a bronzy color the two of them are just stunning and a must have for any makeup queen or king and um, you gotta have the those those two and what's, there's other one there's another one that's like you know there's there's loads of them but they're my two that i use the most and i am obsessed with um so next up I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner. So this is Costa Riche eyeliner, which um, if you've been following me for a while, you know what I'm obsessed with. And um, this is a little bit ew now, because I always have to roll up my eye. So that's kind of going along the lash line, not specifically in the lash line, but just along it. So I want that really, really smoked look. And I'm also going to pop a little bit under the top lash line just to really smoke that gorge and now next i'm just going to take a flat brush and just start buffing out the costa Riche under my eye just really smokes it out and then i'm going to go with my ingot brush and just buff that so not adding any extra color just buffing it just to get that really nice and soft and smoked like the difference between my eyes is insane um so lastly i'm gonna pop on a little bit of mascara so so my kind of go-to eye is very very simple like there's not a whole lot to it it doesn't take that long to do obviously it takes me a little bit longer when I am talking on the camera, but it doesn't actually take that long to do when I'm going out and stuff. It means there's more time for having a few drinks and chats and things. So I'm gonna just get this eye done now and then we will move on to skin. Um, and I will also pop on lashes on camera as well, just to talk through kind of how I find the easiest way to put on lashes is, even though I am so bad at putting them on myself i can put them on anybody else and then when it comes to myself i'm like but anyway we'll figure it out so let's get this eye done done so that is the eyes done um like i said i'm gonna do lashes at the end but i always do my lashes very very last because my eyes tend to get a little bit sensitive after i do like my liner and everything i do sometimes tend to water so i always go do my skin do my own thing come back then after my eyes have had a little break um, and pop on my lashes and um, but i'll go through all of that then at the end so skin wise then is next what I'm using today is my MAC Studio Fix. Um, um, I don't have any tan on. This is my natural colour at the moment, which I'm getting a little bit of a colour, so it's not like super duper pale, but it's not NC40 either, so I can't use that. So I am going to use NC18, which is my favourite like natural colour. Um, so I don't have a pump in this one, so I'm literally just going to tip out a bit onto my hand. And I'm going to also pop in a little pump of the Inglot um, illuminator this is the number 70 and um, it is gorgeous it's a real like champagne kind of color i love it and to apply the foundation i'm using my mac 170 brush and um, just to get that really nice full coverage so i just have it here on my hand and um, i might have to get a little bit more in a second but i'm just going to start popping that on the brush and start putting it into the skin So using that padding motion to build up the coverage, as this is like a night out look, I want there to be good coverage. And I always just come up to like the outside of my eye socket, so I don't put any foundation in here, just because the skin under your eye is quite thin. 
the foundation is a little bit too heavy for it so you don't want anything super heavy under your eyes as they can look make them look like tired and pulled and all that stuff that we don't want them to look like just padding that in uh, I'm just gonna fast forward through this now I close my eyes on purpose it feels like you are here the more I think about you the less you disappear when you kiss the world goodbye I met my biggest fear your picture Gorge, that is the foundation done so now I'm gonna go in with some concealer under my eyes and um, I am gonna obviously blend this but I prefer to blend it onto my neck with powder and um, rather than foundation just because my skin here is quite bad already I don't like to put too much on it and um, so I normally just use a powder so I'm gonna do that afterwards and um, so for the under eye I'm gonna go in with my MAC mineralized concealer in NW20 and also I have the Be Perfect um, um, brightening concealer stick as well so I'm gonna go in with both of them so you want to bring the concealer right up around so that it really lifts the face and I'm gonna add a little bit of this one now as well this I'm going to add mainly on the outside as it's quite light. I don't want it to be too white under my eyes and um, like directly under because that can look a little bit too harsh. So I'm going in with the same brush that I used to put the concealer over my eyes and um, it's the MAC 240 and I'm just going to start buffing that in really really lightly um, so I don't break my eyeshadow. I'm gonna pop a little bit of the leftover concealer on the brush on my nose because my nose is a little bit sunburned and coming through. Amazing. And now I'm going to just go back in with my foundation brush and just press that along where the concealer finishes just to make sure it's all super duper blended. And then I always take my eyeshadow brush again and just go around the edges of my eye just to make sure that everything is super duper blended gorge so that is foundation and concealer done and um, i'm gonna go in next with a little bit of my mac prep and prime translucent powder so i like to use the inglot 4ss brush for this so i just pop this around my nose where i can get a little bit oily sometimes my chin my smile lines just to set the foundation there and then just under my eyes this has like a kind of almost like a blurring effect on the skin which i love so i don't powder my whole face because my skin is dry but when i'm like wearing makeup for a long time and when i have um when i'm out and about doing things my skin can get a little bit oily and um, just from and the makeup can slide a little bit so i always put my um a little bit of powder on especially when i'm going out and um, so next i'm going to go in now with my mac mineralized powder in medium tan this is going to be the base for my contour and um, so i'll show you guys what it so taking like a big fluffy brush, this is a Real Techniques one I've had with years and I do like it. Um, I'm just going to go in with the medium tan and start buffing this around my face to give a little bit more colour. The medium tan is not a very dark bronzer. If you were super super pale it would be a really nice colour for a bronzer, the medium tan. But if you um have like tan on or if you want to be a little bit more bronzed you would need to get a darker bronzer the medium tan is what i'm going to pull down my neck as well it's a really good color just to blend everything together so 
just popping that on here and it does have a little bit of coverage in it as well so it will give a little bit of coverage especially if you are like me and you do have kind of blemishes on your chest or anything like that it will just give a little bit of coverage on them without kind of um being too heavy on them and it's going to make them break out even more because i do find if i put makeup on my neck it does make them break out more they're just a hormonal breakout i don't even know i've had them for a very long time and they go nowhere so i'm just getting used to it the sun kind of helps them go away a little bit so at the moment they're fading a bit which i'm happy about so next off that's just my life story there you know but anyway um next up i'm going in with my mineralize in dark tan so this is the most beautiful brand come in and look for give me sun and i do love give me sun but i think the dark tan is a little bit more golden and I think the dark tan is really nice, especially when you have fake tan on. The Give Me Sun, I think, is gorgeous when you have a really natural, deep glow anyway, and you want to add to it. So that's kind of like my difference, my differentiation between the two. Um, so a dark tan, I'm going in being a little bit more specific. I'm being a lot lighter um, with my brush, so a lot like lighter handed. And I'm just buffing that in. So I really only have it like on the middle part of the brush and again really lightly buffing that in. Buffing it into the hairline as well. Just a little bit on my jaw just to give that extra bit of contour and then just whatever left on the brush across my nose and a little bit on the cheeks. I find that just helps with blending in my blush and things then. I don't go full on bronzer on my cheeks. I'll always just use whatever is left on the brush. So this is like my really bronzed look, but I, this is what I used to do. Like before I started working in MAC, if you had even asked me to put a blush through next to my face, I would have told you to absolutely run and to jump. But now this is my absolute favorite um i'm obsessed with blush i have to have blush on i can't survive without it um but this one is just a pinch it is discontinued but fairly precious is divine as well i just don't know where my fairly precious is which is very sad um but at the moment this is the one that's in my kind of mix and match makeup bag and um, that I just have everything that I use thrown into. My fairly person I think is in my kit somewhere. Packed away with all that because I had to bubble wrap all of that when I was coming home. So um yeah this is the one but it is just continuing so don't get your hopes up when you go to get it. Um, I'll get, but get very precious because very precious is just as nice and very precious was my first love. For the blush, I'm going in with my Mac 168, I think. I can't remember any of the Mac brushes now because I haven't used them in so long. But anyway, this um, I'm just going in with the just a pinch and popping that on the apple of my cheek and blending it back and off. So it does have like a highlighter built into it so you can see like the difference between my face like there's no life in this side where there's life in this side now because i've got that little bit of rosiness to the cheek so in and just on the apple and blend it back oh my god i haven't worn such glam makeup in so long And I always do my nose as well, just because I like that. I think it looks a lot more natural. And that is my just a pinch. Love it. Now I have a little bit of MAC Global Glow, which is um, like a kind of a highlighter. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on the cheeks as well. Very, very lightly, just to add a little bit more glow. And then I'm gonna put it along my collarbones. And a little bit down my chest just to give that a little bit of a glow so this is where we're at so far and um, so i've got my skin pretty much done next up is some brows i do have a little bit of brow gel in them from earlier but i'm going to just brush them through 
and add a little bit more definition to them just because it is glam so this is my mac spiked and i'm just brushing that through the brow with a little bit more color and a little bit more definition wake up in the morning to get a touch from your arm no regrets i can't forget the sense you had on fingernails i tell so it's just more of a defined brow and in with the other side so i'm just flicking it through Extending the tail out a little bit, and then I brush through using the brush on the end of it. Now it just gives uh, that really nice definition to the brows. And I'm gonna go in now with a little bit of um, the NYX Control Freak brow gel just to brush the hairs into place. And that just has made the brows a little bit bolder just to kind of go with the look so they don't kind of disappear into my face um, and yeah now we're gonna do some lips and lashes and we're done so i'm gonna grab some lashes and some lash glue and um, gorgeous so i have some lashes here they are um just a pair from pennies i have no idea which ones they are i'm really sorry but they are there So they're kind of quite long um but quite fluttery and um, which i do quite like i don't like really really thick heavy lashes i prefer them to be a little bit more wispy and then i have my um latex free duo glue which is so so important if you have like me watery kind of eyes and um, it just helps the glue not irritate your eyes as much like i can feel my eyes at the edges are a teeny tiny bit watery but i know that when i use this they're not it's not going to be affected more oh my god the sun just completely disappeared outside it just got so dark what the hell anyway so i'm going to take my lash and i'm going to just brush my glue over it the latex free one is really handy because it comes with a little brush i know you're not gonna be able to see what i'm doing now but anyway make sure there's no like lumps of glue or anything stuck to them if you have worn them before and um, or when they come fresh out of the packet they can have like lumps of glue on them so just make sure you get them all off because they won't look good if they're on it so i've just brushed glue on them you can see it's like a blue color that will obviously dry clear i'm going to pop that one down and i'm going to grab the other one so what's really important is that you do leave those lashes alone for a good minute after you pop the glue on them so it can start getting tacky and so it'll stick way easier because if you go straight in you'll be slipping and sliding and the lash will inevitably have like moved from where you perfectly placed it before it dries and it'll start lifting a lot quicker as well just make sure you get a nice bit of glue on there like don't be stingy with it i know it's gonna be really hard to see that but don't be stingy with your glue get a good bit on there and just pop them down while they are just drying i'm gonna do my lips so i'm just gonna pop a little bit more of my lip balm on a very small amount just so it's not it's not um too greasy so i'm gonna go in with my stripped down lip liner which is my absolute fave and i'm going along the bottom of my lip first and filling it in and now for the top so i always overdraw my lips but i overdraw to where you can see the shape so when i'm talking there you can see there's like the white there um that is lifted up that you can see it but it's not colored that's because my like with everybody the 
actual shape of your lips is always outside of the color of your lips so always go with the shape and not the color and you'll get your lips looking overlined and plumper without looking like a clown so i'm gonna follow the white line and i'm gonna draw that down to the corner of my lip and follow the white line down to the corner it's really important that when you're like drawn draw, joining from the cupid's bow down to the corner of your lip that it's an outward curve not an inward curve because if you slope your lip inwards it's just gonna look really weird um, and really like the shape is just gonna look odd and people are gonna be like what's up with the lips and um, whereas if it's kind of sloped or curved like outwards so kind of like that and um, it's gonna look a lot more natural but obviously don't be going like massive but it's just an outward curve rather than an inward curve lippy i'm going to use clouds in my coffee which is also discontinued i'm really really sorry but it will be quite close to um velvet teddy or cherish or oh there's one of the new um the newer Love Me lipsticks, one of them I remember is like that kind of a colour. Don't ask me the name though because I have no idea. So then lashes, I'm just gonna go straight in now and pop this down. Like how am I gonna do this without you being able to see it? So having a mirror below you as well always helps because you can see exactly where you're popping it down. Just dropping that in and it's super sticky. So got these those lashes and pop this on now. Don't you absolutely just love when your um, phone decides that it's just going to stop recording your video when you're doing your lashes. But anyway, um, I think we got some of it on camera anyway. My eyes are watering a little bit at the edges, but that's just another day, a normal day in my life, you know. Um, so I've got my Glam Mermaid Waves ready to go now. And uh, this is the finished look. So we've got super glam, glitzy, uh, really easy, like you saw, it's not actually that much on the eyes, but it just really looks like glam um, and smoky and whatnot. So this is the finished look guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, definitely hit below to subscribe um, and we're gonna have loads more videos up on here. In the meantime, um, head over to my Instagram as well and we're gonna have lots of a uh, lovely content over here for you all and um, so definitely go over and give us a follow there as well thank you so so much for tuning in and i hope you have a lovely weekend